Law of action is one of the twelve major universal laws. You must take action to achieve your goal. We use the law of attraction to send our desired thoughts, and we have to match these vibrational thoughts by acting as if you already have what you want. We can think of our desires and our thoughts as being our intentions. We take physical actions to match those intentions. We use the law of attraction with purpose and should remember to take inspired actions to bring your intentions into the physical realm. The universal law of action states that no matter what you feel or know, no matter what your potential gifts or talents, only your actions bring them into life. This law shows the importance of action steps as a way of extending the law of attraction for bringing consciousness into physical form. It really is not enough to believe or even know something with your mind. It requires action on your part to bring that something into reality. We must take physical steps to bring our desires and dreams into the material expression that we can see and feel. I like the action plan of Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen when they developed the rule of five. This is where they did five things every day that put them closer to their goal. After setting up a goal through the law of attraction, I think that anyone doing five things a day towards their goal will succeed in bringing their goal into life. The law of action is taking our intentions and giving them actions. It makes us feel empowered. It breathes life into our dreams. The law of action makes you take a proactive role in creating the life you desire and dream about. It's not about leaving the law of attraction. It is an addition of attraction. The law of attraction is very necessary and is a foundation that we use to give purpose to our actions. First, find your desires and then take reasonable steps toward those desires. As you start taking steps forward, you will notice that there are more avenues opening, which allow for more steps in creating your desires. We can spend days and months dreaming about the new home we dream of having someday. We can use all of the positive affirmations and use creative visualizations to support our goals. But we need to take specific action steps to bring it into existence. We have to find and purchase land. We have to have a house plan. We have to save up enough money to make the purchases or we have to secure a loan. These are all actions that we have to plan and apply to our desires and dreams to bring them into fulfillment. There are several different types of actions, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Using the law of attraction is an action. It introduces our desires and dreams encourages us to maintain positive thoughts and have good intentions. One positive action would be eliminate negative beliefs and thinking. Take your negative thoughts and reword them into positive statements and use the positive statements as affirmations. By doing this, you can reprogram your conscious and inner conscious minds to be in alignment to your desires. As your beliefs and thoughts are important in the law of attraction, they are just as important in the law of action. Without a positive intention to achieve your goals, you will never take inspired action to achieve them. Meditation is another very important action in reaching your goals. Meditation clears your mind and improves your focus. Whenever you feel stuck and not sure about your goals, a 20-minute meditation may just clear things up for you. You can find out everything you need to know about meditation by an Internet search. I learned meditation decades ago with a silver method, and since that time I've learned other excellent methods. You can receive a free silver course that will teach you how to relax and meditate at this address. As you clear your mind in meditation, you get rid of the negative, limiting thoughts just by letting them go. 
You just let these thoughts pass through your mind without any focus on them. Our main challenge in life is any attempt in improving ourselves. We can overcome this challenge by using goals and inspired actions. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience, and we interact with other spiritual beings also having a physical experience. And we want our spiritual presence felt by our other fellow spiritual beings. We want to create images and paint them so real that others we interact with may see them as well. We must take the actions necessary so that our visions can be brought into physical form that we and others can enjoy. We need to take appropriate physical actions or steps to move our goals to the reality of becoming something solid so that we and others may enjoy them. Otherwise, they remain forever within the recesses of our mind, just energy potentials never coming into a solid form. It is the use of all the universal laws that create our everyday reality. We learn to blend and use these laws in our everyday life that leads to having the things we desire and dream about, coming forth into physical form. We need to direct our actions into a focused intention and direction so that we don't run aimlessly and just go around in circles, keeping very busy all the time but never accomplishing anything. When we work on the law of attraction level, we need to have a focused intention as to what our desires and dreams are. We then need to transfer these same focused dreams into action. This action is not contradicting the the allowing part of using the law of attraction. Allowing is removing all doubt as to our receiving our desires or dreams. Actions are always required to bring a desire into physical reaction. Everything is always created twice, first in our mind and then by physical action. The law of attraction creates in our mind. Action creates in the physical world, thus the law of action. As we work on explaining the laws and sub-laws that control the universe, and we being part of the universe, the laws control us, we will begin to see the clear picture how we can use these laws. A side note, learning a process called journaling can help you in developing your focus and intentions towards your goal. You can do a web search to find out more about journaling. Journaling is a physical action that will activate bringing your ideas, dreams, and goals into a written, expressed form. It's like putting a rudder on a ship. You can use the journal as a guide to your directions in life. Now back to the law of action. Using the law means that we actually have to go out into the world and do whatever it is to get whatever we want. Reading, studying, and learning are all great, but will get you nowhere without action on your part. It's this taking action where most people fail when using the law of attraction. It took me a while to understand that without action, nothing is built. In the beginning of my journey, I loved to read too much. I had a lot of knowledge, but it was only when I began action that things started to change, slowly at first, with small changes. As these small changes began to appear, I became more confident and went after larger things. First, you have to learn, but you will have to practice the things you learn. You have to prove them to yourself. Stop learning and start doing if you want success. Starting to take action is not enough. You will need to follow through until you attain your goal. And you have successfully incorporated the law of action into your life. Our problem as human beings, we usually need to get to a crisis point before we seek change. Then we try to invoke the law of action. It would be much easier to invoke the law before the crisis hit. Making a life change can take a lot of discipline and making a change in your present habitual behavior not always easy. For a life change, first get rid of the larger problems and the smaller problems will probably disappear in the process. 
For a life change, determine what your new goal should be and establish a plan to get there. With a plan in hand, it is easier to get to your destination. You should use the law of attraction to help you get started. Being positive and keeping your mind and thoughts on your goals is a very good start. Plans and goals have a way of making difficult problems easier. Make clear and simple plans as they are easier to complete. An action plan for goals and plans is let go and let God on a spiritual level. Let go of the fear and bad judgments that got you into a mess in the first place. Let go of your fear of failure. That is, if you want your new plans to succeed. Fear is the only thing that can defeat you and your plans for success. Action and persistence are the things that ensure you, your success. When you have it figured out, what you want that is, taking action and never ever giving up or giving in is the way of seeing your success come into being. Start today. Why wait until tomorrow? Every day wasted is putting your success further into the future. Learning and applying the universal laws leads to success and enjoying the fruit of living a life that you desire with all the trappings that go with success. What I have noticed in studying universal laws for several years is how the law of action has been overlooked and neglected. Books and audios seem to stress positive thinking and visualization without giving us instructions on using actions to make them work. There is a process in bringing something into being. First, something starts as a thought in someone's mind. Or without action, this is where it will remain. That is, until it is a thought in another's mind, who then takes action to see the thought come to a reality in the physical world. Without action, your thoughts are merely daydreams. Daydreaming is a great pastime, and if you put action to them, can make you rich. Big question, what action should I take? That depends on what you want. If it's a vacation you want, I would start with where it is that I want to visit. I would check on the activities I was interested in, check prices, and start saving money. If I was looking for a relationship, I would first write out the qualities I was looking for, and then I would start acting in love and visiting the places where this type of person I was interested in could be found. This is simplified, and you may not know every action you need to take to get your end results, but if you start moving towards your desires, doors will begin to open, but only after you make the first move. It doesn't matter how small the first move is. It is a beginning. And if you don't take it, you won't be taking the second move, nor the third move, and so on. How will you know if you are taking the right action? Listen to your feelings. They will let you know, that is, if you trust them. Every step may not be the best that could have been taken. But it is a step, and every step toward your desire is a step closer than you were before. All action steps may not bring the exact results you desire, but they can be lessons learned and a new direction to follow. Just remember, that any step that keeps you moving forward is putting you closer to your goal, and you will come out on top. Like most everyone else, I have not always taken the correct action, but in taking an action, I was closer to my dreams and goals than before. Take the first sincere step, and good things usually follow. When I have a dream or set a goal, I trust God to provide the ways and opportunities, and I trust myself to take appropriate actions. I have made these actions a habit. Coming into greater alignment with the universal laws has made a huge difference in my life. I wish the same for you. This lesson is an invitation for you to discover and use the amazing power of the universal law of action added to the universal law of attraction. Ask yourself, what can I do today to move myself closer to my desires? What step or steps can I take? 
Each action step you take is bringing your intentions closer to creating the life and future in line with your desires, dreams, and plans. 